How's it going, Group 5? Uh, I apologize if I do sound a little nasally. It's because I've been sick for the past few days and I can't can't get over it, so uh, bear with me on this video. But for my interview, I chose to interview my father just because I believe that he's the most successful person that I know. And he's definitely the most driven person that I know. Um, so my questions were pretty basic questions. Uh, things like, how does he stay motivated? You know, has he achieved the level of success that he wishes he's achieved? What were the goals that he set for himself over time? And, you know, maybe if those goals have changed. Um, and so the interview went well. Um, he answered pretty typical, typical to how I thought he'd answer a lot of these. Uh, but with the interview, he mentioned that his motivation comes from mostly himself and just wanting to be the best type of person that he could be, right? So he told me that, one, he likes to wake up early because he likes to go work out. You know, he gets his workout out of the way. That gives him some energy. And waking up early kind of puts him ahead of a lot of people. He wakes up at 4 a.m. every day. And so he's done with things he'd like to do on the side, like the gym, things like that, take out the dogs. Um, he's done with that by 6 or 7 a.m. And he said this is critical to being successful because, you know, a lot of people don't wake up that early. They go to work, you know, then they go to the gym or do whatever they do. And it takes up most of your day. If you're not if you're not up early, I mean, by the time you get off work, it's, it's probably late into the afternoon, you know. So by the time you get off work and then you do things that you do, it's time to go to sleep and you can end up in the cycle of, you know, not being or not accomplishing what you want to achieve just because you haven't set the necessary time for yourself to do those things. Um, but he said that besides obviously waking up early, he says that, um, to just be mindful and be organized of what his goals are. He told me that he has clear goals that he works towards every day, whether they're small steps, big steps, whatever they are, he does something every day that pushes him a little bit closer to achieving those goals. Which I think is an which is very important because, you know, sometimes you have all these goals. I want to be successful. I want to be rich. I want to be athletic. I want to be. I want to do all these things, but if you're not, you know, making sure that you're taking the proper steps to achieve those goals, then you could get lost and not really see your progression because you're not organized, you know, it's not clear, you're not creating a path for yourself. If you go, okay, I want to do these numbers this month, and you go, okay, for me to achieve these numbers, I need to do this today, and do this tomorrow, and then this for the week, and then this over four weeks, and there's my month, and that's how I think I'll actually achieve this. That's a little bit more clear than just saying, okay, hey, I want to, you know, meet my quota for the month. Well, how are you going to do that? And he said that's extremely important because a lot of people that he knows, including myself, I do this, um, you know, you say that you're going to do all these things and it's easy to not do them because you don't know which steps to take to get you in the right direction. So that was a big thing that I took away from it. Um, we spoke about how long it took him to achieve his goals. So my dad is 49, about to be 50 this year. Um, so I'm, I'm 20, I'm 23 years old. And from what I can remember, he's always been a pretty successful person, but he told me that he set the goal for himself to be a millionaire by the time he was 30, and he did it at the age 29. I didn't realize this. I was really young, apparently, when he was 29. I mean, we didn't talk about these things when I was six years old, five years old. Um, but that was a goal that he always told himself growing up, was I want to achieve this by this age, and this is how I think I want to do it. And luckily for him, it worked out. I mean, I'm, it was a long road from what I've seen, from what he's told me to get to that point. But he's always wanted to own his own business. So, so that's how we started. He started a business that he thought it would work. It happened to be construction. You know, he had a, he found a mentor. He worked in construction. He still does construction and real estate to this day. But he found a mentor and he just daily worked hard in a business that he wanted to be in, that he was knowledgeable in. And he just pursued that for years. Luckily... It worked out for him and he became financially stable and he was able to, you know, do these bigger construction jobs that led him to make the money that he wanted to achieve pretty quickly. 
But um, I just think that, you know, th he did accomplish his personal goals that he said. And he also told me that, you know, his goals have changed. I mean, he, he's, he's told me that he wants to get more into real estate. And this is kind of something that we've been working on, you know, besides my marketing business is I'm trying to get into commercial real estate as well. But he said, now that he's achieved this, he believes that he can achieve this. And then, like I said earlier, he's kind of found the steps to take those to, – to do what he wants to do. And he, 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 he's created this organized, organized structure and how he thinks that he will be able to accomplish this real estate goal within the next few years. Um, but those are probably the biggest things that I took away from the interview. Um, obviously, you guys, please ask me questions about it. We five, six minute interview or presentation I feel like isn't long enough to really get everything out that I wanted to say, but thanks guys.